All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over your rough draft setup for abstract expressionism. You're gonna write down colors and lines you plan on using, but we all know from the research that the expressionists valued spontaneity and improvisation, which I know is difficult for some of you, and I'm gonna push you out of your comfort zone to make some awesome pieces of artwork. Um, you'll notice in the notes that I talk about what feelings I'm trying to evoke in my painting. So make sure you write that down in your notes on your rough draft. I'm going to start collecting my materials here. And I'm going to collect a few things that I probably won't end up using. But it's good to have because you honestly don't know what you might end up using in this kind of painting. So I'm going to start building my layers. Remember when we looked at Willem de Kooning? He has so many layers built up on his pieces. And so, yes, this is a rough draft, so it probably won't have as many layers as my final, but I'm going to be working on two at a time because I want one of the layers to dry before I go back over top of it. You can see on my left, my notes say, a feeling of calm and peace and relaxed, positive. So I have cool colors like these blues and whites, Remember from your research that white um, is just a peaceful color. And my second one, the base layer from this, going for some pinks and white. You can see on the bottom here, I slowed it down. I didn't know what I was doing. I just went for it. And it kind of looked like a fire coming up from the bottom. Excited, busy. That's what I'm going for. Um, I'm not adding blacks or greens to it to make darker pinks. I'm going for the bright, vibrant colors. My first layer of the blue one is somewhat dry, so then I go back, try adding some lines on top. Again, the impressionist, expressionist, not impressionist, they valued spontaneity and improvisation. Um, I thought a line on my, my pink one would be good. And then you can see, oh, didn't really like that color so went for a more muted pink. Take some time during these rough drafts and just see what comes out. Um, that's the whole point of kind of a plan. And like I said previously, these plans might not end up looking anything like what your final looks like, and that is okay. I added a few little dots. I'm trying to add balance. That's what what my goal is. I want balance in, in my compositions. Um, some of you might want imbalance and it might be a feeling that you're going for. So figure out what you're going for and see how you can manipulate the materials to evoke that feeling. Um, again, didn't end up liking that pink so I went for another lighter pink over top of those lines. Think about using your materials in a different way. For example, I use the end of the paintbrush because I know I can get a perfect circle by using the end of a paintbrush handle instead of trying to get a circle with hairs. It's pretty much impossible, um, at least to me it is, so I use the handle. Be creative. I can't wait to see what you make. It's going to be good, no matter what.